Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you all are doing well this is your teacher rosina of subject social studies of class 5th from today we are going to start our new session so this is our first lecture or first class so let's begin with the great name of allah who is the most merciful and beneficent from today we will be starting chapter 1 of unit 1 so turn to your page number 11 of your textbooks and the name of the chapter is classification of regions in pakistan now what is classification means classification means the division now when we classify something we divide it for example if we classify the regions in pakistan it means that the pakistan um landforms are divided into different types now in pakistan we do not have the one form of land there is no one landform but it is been divided into deserts into mountains into plateaus into plain areas or into the rivers so it means that in pakistan we do not have only one form of land but we have different forms of land so in this chapter we will be classifying and we will be reading about the division of regions in pakistan so now we will move towards the definition of the physical regions now what are the physical regions physical regions are areas divided by natural physical boundaries like mountains rivers etc now what are the natural boundaries natural boundaries are that given by the nature now the natural boundaries can be deserts the mountains and the rivers now what could be the man made boundaries they could be the bridges the fences the walls etc that divide uh, one country from the other country or one um one province or one region from the other but the um but the physical regions right physical like that is the appearance of them so the physical regions they are being divided by the natural sources or the natural boundaries and in natural boundaries are all those regions and all those boundaries or all those landforms that are being given to us by the nature pakistan can be divided into five main physical regions now what are the five main physical regions of pakistan they are the mountainous region plateau region desert region plains region or the coastal region now you can see you have been given the picture of all the different regions this is the desert region the mountain region the plain region the plateau region and the coastal region now we will move toward the next page page number 2 Now first of all we will be reading about the mountainous region. I hope you all know what the mountains are. The mountainous region of Pakistan includes parts of the Him- Himalayas, the Karakoram range and the Hindu Kush. Now these are all the types of the mountains. These are all the ranges. Ranges means that there is no only one single mountain but there is the range of mountains. There are multiple number of mountains. So the mountainous range region of Pakistan includes parts of the Himalayas. Himalayas is the name of the one of the range of the mountains, the Karakoram range and the Hindu Kush. This area has many peaks including K2. Now K2 is known to be the second highest mountain of the world, right? So here we have that these areas like these ra- these ranges of the mountain they contain the k2 mountain and k2 mountain is 8611 meters high so the height of the k2 mountain is 8611 meters the first highest mountain is mount everest while k2 is the second highest mountain of the world it is the second highest peak in the world more than 50 peaks in this area are above 6500 meters high now this range the himalayas the karakoram and the hindu kush these ranges they contain the mountains and their height is above 6500 meters a part of the area has the most dangerous peaks in the world now there are some of the mountain ranges or there are some of the mountain peaks um they are the dangerous ones right the people living in these mountainous regions have learned to adapt to the hard to the harsh physical conditions now the people living in these areas they are not being facilitated as the people living in the uh, on the plain areas are like we are available we are being provided 
and those people living on the mountain regions uh, what do they do for the drinking water they move far away from their houses to the place where there are the sweet lakes or sweet rivers where they can um, collect the drinking water then they take that water they collect that water in the containers or in the bottles and then they bring that to their homes and then they use that for cooking and for drinking so they are having a very difficult time um, living um, on the mountains then they are not being facilitated with electricity as we are they do not have um, the televisions they do not have the cars they do not have the telephone and they do not have the electricity or gas now we are being provided with the gas and we use that gas to um, cook our meals but what do they do is they burn the wood to make fire and then they cook their meals on that fire they do not have electricity now some of the regions nowadays some of the regions in pakistan they have the electricity they have the telephone services they have the televisions and cars but there are a lot of regions like the Him um, himalayas and the ketus they are the most cold coldest regions of pakistan people living there they are not being provided with the uh, with these all facilities Okay, now we will move towards the next paragraph. The natural beauty of this region is known worldwide. Now definitely, this region is very beautiful. The mountains covered in snow and everywhere there is snow and the, the, and the regions, they are beautiful. And that is known worldwide. Worldwide means that throughout the world, people know that this region is the most beautiful one. Thousands of tourists. Tourists mean the people who travel from, um, who, the people who travel to other countries to explore their culture and to explore the new places. So thousands of tourists visit these areas. Many are mountain climbers. Mountain climbers and trekkers are the people who climb the mountain. Generally, the people make a living through farming and tourism. Now. Uh, the people living in these areas how do they make living make a living means that how do they earn money and then from that money they used to live their lives so they make a living through farming and tourism they uh, they they work in the fields uh, they grow the cor uh, crops and then they sell to the other areas of the country and through the tourism when people come to their places uh, they serve them in different ways and then they earn the money from them. The mountainous region has very cold winters because of the high altitude. Now as the mountains are on the high altitude, so any any area that is on the high altitude, there the weather is very cold. Definitely in winters everywhere is cold, but in the winters the mountainous regions are the coldest because they face the snowfall. There is a lot of the snowfall there due to which the old area uh, all the area is covered in the snow and then they face more difficulties when there is the snowfall the higher you go the colder it becomes okay as you go higher like if you just um, just take the example of our our own country when you go to you can take example of your own country uh, when you go towards the higher altitude like uh, Amari, Nathiagali, Kalam and all those areas so there the temperature is very cold as compared to the temperature or the climate we are living um, in now or like on the areas they are the plain areas or the plain regions so the temperature of the higher altitudes or the mountainous regions is cold as compared to the temperature or the climate of the plain regions. Normally there is snowfall too. Now the mountainous regions they are usually covered in snow so they face the snow all over the year. There is the snowfall so they are facing a lot of snowfall in the winters. In the winters you can see in the Murray and all the higher altitude regions or the mountainous regions um, you can see that there is snowfall in the winters summer is quite cool and pleasant now the mountainous regions um, the summers in the mountainous regions is quite cool and pleasant like whenever there is the summer vacations everyone tries to go to the mountainous regions why do they go there because the summer there is cool and pleasant the temperature or the climate there is cool while living on the plain regions the temperature or the climate in the summers is very hot 
the temperature is much lower compared to the other parts of the country in summer now other parts of the country for example the areas near the river or the plain regions or the plateau regions they all are hot and the temperature is very warm there while the mountainous regions in summer the mountainous region there the climate is very cold very cool and very pleasant we have discussed the mountainous region in pakistan now we will be discussing the mountainous regions in other countries so we will be discussing about the mountainous region of bhutan bhutan is a country in south asia Bhutan has a similar mountainous region where agriculture plays a very important role in the lives of its people. As we have discussed before that people living in the mountainous region, they used to make their living or they earned money through farming. They used to grow the crops and then they uh, sell those crops to the other parts of the country and they earned money and they made their living. So same is in case of Bhutan that people living in the mountainous region in Bhutan, they make their living through agriculture similar, similar like the people living in Pakistan. They grow the crops and then they uh, sell those crops to the other parts of their country and they make their living. Bhutan is a country in Asia. Most of Bhutanese earn their livelihood from agriculture. Bhutanese are the people of the Bhutan. So the people of the Bhutan, they earn their livelihood, they earn money, they make their living from agriculture. The main important uh, the work they do is agriculture. The major crops uh, they grow there are the maize or we can say corn and rice, wheat, barley, potatoes and some other vegetables are also grown here so the the main work is agriculture they um, grow the crops so the crops they grow are uh, maize rice wheat barley potatoes and the vegetables so they grow the crops um, they grow all these things and then they sell those to the other part of the country living conditions are difficult as discussed before the people living in the uh, mountainous region their life is very difficult because they are not provided with all the facilities like the people living on the plain areas are being provided they have the difficulty of getting the clean clear water for drinking they have the difficulty in traveling because they are living on the mountains and on the mountains the paths are not the paths or the roads are not even um, just like we have on the plain areas so the living conditions there are very difficult livestock rearing and selling is an important business with cattle being the most in number now what is livestock livestock means uh, the domestic animals like the cows buffaloes hens or uh, goats etc uh, those animals which provide uh, meat or milk or eggs right so that is not as to be the livestock and rearing means um, when they take care of that livestock so livestock rearing and selling uh, they they have the big farms uh, like the uh, where they keep the hens and um, the goats and the cows so they keep them and whenever they need the money they can sell they sell those animals as well so today we read about the mountainous region uh, the mountains are the highland forms they are high above the land and they are usually in the form of peaks like they have the pointed ends uh, their height is usually in thousands like we have discussed about the k2 it is 8611 meters and the others they are 6500 meters high uh, they are high above the land so their height is um, in thousands of meters the people living there they have a lot of difficulties um, we have read about how they earn their money how they make a living they do farming and they um, they earn to the tourism to agriculture and to livestock and we have discussed about the climate and um, the temperature of these areas so the next topic we have is about the plateau region plateaus are also like the mountains as the mountains are um, above the grounds and uh, they are pointed at the end but the plateaus are a bit different from the mountains mountains have uh, the height in thousands of meters while plateaus they have approximately approximately they have the height in hundreds of meters um, they are not as high above the ground as compared to the mountains 
Uh, mountains are uh, in the form of peak at the end they have the pointed endings while plateaus usually are flat from above the surface so the plateaus are different from the mountains as they are not that much high above the ground as compared to the mountains and the um, endings or the highest points of the plateaus are not the peak or the pointed but they are flat now most of the plateau uh, regions they are in the Balochistan in Pakistan and um, their height uh, is approximately from 600 to 900 meters or 600 to 7000 meters so we will read about the plateau region in our next class and uh, we will be discussing about the plateau regions of Pakistan and some of the other countries in detail your task for today is to go through the points that we have discussed today Revise these points and write at least 10 MCQs in your notebooks. We will continue the chapter in next class. Take care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.